We just listened to this incredible, it's not for little kids, I'm just going to warn you, but this incredible radio theater thing called um, Under Drake's Flag, and it was about Sir Francis Drake, who was one of the uh, European explorers back in the 1500s. And he was a Christian. And he, um, in 1577, he recorded this prayer that he prayed, and, but he wrote it down, and I don't know, for uh, prosperity or whatever, but he, he recorded this prayer. And um, I got to be honest with you, it, it kind of messed with me a little bit, in a good way. And I thought, we just literally finished listening to this like a week ago. I said, God, I think you, you had me listen to this at just this time, because I think everyone needs to hear this prayer. And I'm just going to read it to you as we close today. So this was Sir Francis Drake back in 1577. He says, disturb us, Lord, when we are too pleased with ourselves, when our dreams have come true because we dream too little, when we arrive safely because we sailed too close to the shore. Disturb us, Lord, when with the abundance of things we possess, we have lost our thirst for the waters of life. Having fallen in love with life, we have ceased to dream of eternity. In our efforts to build a new earth, we have allowed our vision of the new heaven to dim. Disturb us, Lord, to dare more boldly, to venture on wilder seas, where storms will show your mastery, where losing sight of land, we shall find the stars. We ask you to push back the horizons of our hopes and to push back the future in strength, courage, hope, and love. This we ask in the name of our captain, who is Jesus Christ. I hope you'll start praying a prayer like that. I'm starting to pray a prayer like that. God wants us to be great. Not just as a church, but as individuals, as families, as couples. He wants you to be great. And being great is found in being like him.